You are my God, and I confess you. You are my God, and I exalt you. I will thank you, for you became my Savior. In nomine Patris et Filius Spiritus Sancti, Gracia Domini Nostri, Jesu Christi, et Caritas de Communicatio Sancti Spiritus, sit com omnibus bobis. Brethren, this morning we celebrate St. Thomas the Apostle. It is also First Wednesday, so we offer up this Mass in honor of St. Joseph for all the devotees, the purity of heart of St. Joseph, First Wednesday, for the devotees of Our Lady of America for all of their intentions that you can find at OurLadyOfAmerica.com. There is the image, there is the statue, OurLadyOfAmerica.com. So again, for the intentions of all the devotees of Our Lady of America, we offer up this Mass on First Wednesday in honor of the pure heart of, G of uh, St. Joseph, but we celebrate the great feast of uh, St. Thomas the Apostle. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. You alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Oremus. Grant, Almighty God, that we may glory in the feast of the blessed Apostle Thomas, so that we may always be sustained by his intercession and believing may have life. In the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, whom Thomas acknowledged as the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brethren, you're no longer strangers and sojourners, but fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple, sacred in the Lord. In you, in, in him, you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. Verbum Domini. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. The steadfastness is kindness to us and the fidelity of the Lord and it re endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen but still believe. Alleluia, 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Dominus Rebistum, Lexio Sancte Evangelii Segundum Johannum. Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord, but Thomas said to them, Unless I see the mark and nails in his hands and put my finger into the nail marks and, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came through the door, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord, my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Verbum Domini. Well, my brothers and sisters in Christ, as I said in the beginning, we are honoring St. Joseph, who of course saw Jesus and believed, but believed actually before he saw Jesus when he just found out that his wife-to-be was pregnant. His espoused wife was pregnant. And so he believed, even though he did not see. St. Thomas came to believe when he saw Jesus face-to-face -face and saw the marks. He didn't have to touch anything. We have Christ truly present in the Eucharist, right? We're honoring St. Joseph today. Again, first Wednesday, pure heart of Jesus, we don't want to preempt St. Thomas. We're not by any means, all right? Uh, it's just, it is, I want to acknowledge First Wednesday and every First Wednesday, I celebrate Mass for the intentions of the devotees of Our Lady of America that you can find at OurLadyofAmerica.com. So um, St. Thomas, the doubter, all right? Poor guy has to live with this. Uh, Didymus, the doubter, uh, saw Jesus, saw the marks, saw the, the wounds of Jesus, and believed. Uh, we uh, can visualize the cross, can visualize the crucifixion. That's why in our Catholic faith we have Christian uh, crucifixes everywhere. Uh, but we have the Eucharist. We have the Eucharist. So, yes, we see if we believe. But if we don't believe, we don't see, Right? On the Eucharist, that takes supernatural faith. It takes supernatural eyes to see. Um, and so I think that this really is what our Lord was referring to. This was a Eucharistic type of uh, reference of by our Lord. Blessed are those who do not see but still believe. For we do not see the wounds of Jesus. We do not see Jesus in the flesh. Yet we know and we're convinced that Jesus is truly present, body, blood, soul, and divinity. The flesh of Jesus, the blood of Jesus in the Eucharist who we receive into us. So, um, you know, in the Liturgy of the Hours, I think it's uh, St. Augustine. Uh, no, St. Gregory, I think. St. Gregory, who uh, points out that uh, Thomas's lack of belief and then belief is a great gift for all of us, uh, that indeed in our doubts we can still, through the grace of God, the grace of Jesus, come to believe and come to believe deeply to the point of saying, my Lord, my God, my Lord, my God, my Lord, my God, which many people do say in the elevation at the Eucharist, right? You, you hear them mouth it, you hear them uh, say it, you can. So um, in, indeed, my brothers and sisters of Christ, let us rejoice in the Eucharist, let us uh, rejoice that St. Thomas came to believe. Let us also uh, rejoice in St. Joseph. And let us rejoice in our pure hearts that truly allow us to believe even though we don't see. Let us now ask our Father in heaven to shed his mercy on all of our intentions for the Catholic Church, the Pope, bishops, priests, deacons, religious, for our seminary study, for the priesthood, for those discerning religious life, for mothers, fathers, husbands, wives, 
sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, that everyone in their vocation may desire to do all things in humble obedience for the praise, honor, and glory of God, in atonement and reparation for our sins, and charity and chastity in our vocations, we pray to the Lord. For peace in the world, Eucharistic unity amongst all Christians, the conversion of the world, the conversion of nations, the conversion of political leaders, conversions necessary within the hierarchy of the church, within our families, and our own daily personal conversions for anyone that we've wounded or led astray in our lives. For anyone that's wounded us, we be reconciled with everyone. The end of all the vicious attacks against life, marriage, and family. And for the least of Christ, brethren, the unborn, the poor, the sick, the thirsty, the naked, the homeless, the hungry. To be imprisoned for all those suffering any trial or tribulation. Whether it be physical or spiritual, they may find comfort in Jesus. As we reach out to them in spiritual and corporal works of mercy, we pray to the Lord. And for the particular intentions of this Mass, the intentions we hold in our hearts, the intentions of uh, the devotees of Our Lady of America and Our Lady of America.com, uh, for our personal intentions, family intentions, health intentions, ministerial intentions, the intentions of all those who we said we were praying for, including those who may forget to pray for, the intentions of those who pray for us, encourage us, support us each day. The souls in purgatory, especially those that have no one to pray for them, in particular our deceased loved ones and family members, and our loved ones and family members who are away from the church, that they may embrace Christ's sacraments of mercy, we pray to the Lord. And we ask for this, we ask for all good things through the intercession of St. Joseph, St. Padre Pio, St. Thomas, the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the angels, martyrs, and saints, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness I receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness I receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted by God, the Almighty Father. We render you, O Lord, the service that is your due, humbly imploring you to keep safe your gifts in us as we honor the confession of the Apostle St. Thomas and offer you a sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. Dominos verbiscum, sorsum corda, gracias agimus domino deo nostro. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, if you have built your church to stand firm on an apostolic foundation, the lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity in your heavenly, your heavenly teaching, therefore now and for ages unending with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, To you, therefore, our most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together we your servant Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all those who hold me to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here is faith and devotion known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise that they offer for themselves and all who are dear to them. 
and the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to the eternal God living in truth. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John, and Paul, Cosmos, and Damian, and all of your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering. In every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable and become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. With eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, as Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion and resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension in heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we your servants and your holy people, offer you to glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask, O Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us to the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, in all who sleep in Christ, a place of, re of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but grant us your pardon through Christ our Lord, from whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. For ipsum et con ipso et an ipso est tibi deo patni omnipotenti in unitate spiritu sancti omnas in all gloria. Omnia secula seculorum. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil grace you grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity. In accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Pax Domino, sit semper fabiscum, on your stay. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Bring your hand and feel the place of the nails, and do not be unbelieving, but believing. Lord Amos, O oh God, as we truly receive in the sacrament the body of your only begotten Son, grant we pray that we may recognize him with the Apostle Thomas by faith as our Lord and our God and proclaim him by our deeds and by our life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Dominos, Rabiscum, Benedicat, Vos, Omnipotens, Deus, Pater, Filius, Spiritus, Sanctus, Ita, Misa, Est. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. Thank you for joining us today, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Again, go to OurLadyOfAmerica.com, OurLadyOfAmerica.com. The statue, the image, so much is there to promote this approved USCCB private devotion, OurLadyOfAmerica.com. I love you. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Go out into the world today, my friends. Give them heaven. Father and Barato Live coming up a little bit later. I got some things to do, but we'll do live later. Uh, please, protestchildkilling.com. Go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. Again, go out into the world today, my friends, and give them heaven.